Exactly a year ago this weekend, Madeleine McCann disappeared. Tonight, we're in her home village of Rothley, and we talk to her parents about the support they've received from this community. And we have a special report on the village which found itself at the centre of a media storm. That's central tonight on Friday the 2nd of May. Should we really be joining up with those countries that you've mentioned, or should they be doing the right thing by coming over to the system yeah, that we have? Can, I, can I just interrupt, I just for a moment, because like I want to pick up on a point that, that Penny very briefly touched on. Joanne, what if a woman's been raped? We have women who come to us who have been raped and who have conceived. Exactly 90 years ago today signalled the end of World War I. It's a war which lasted four years, resulting in the deaths of 20 million people. Since then, every year, on the 11th of the 11th, Britain has stood in silence to remember the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Tonight, we're dedicating our programme to Armistice Day and what it means to people in the East Midlands. Just tell me, you've just come back from Afghanistan. What's it like going out to somewhere as dangerous as that and having to leave your family behind? Um, the Army actually prepares you quite well for going into theatre. We have extensive training, um, which helps us to combat most situations that we may or may not have come across before. Dad, Paul, let me bring you in. Proud that your, your daughter's followed in your footsteps? I'm very proud, uh, Steve. Uh, a, a, a son and a daughter, both serving in today's military. Good evening and welcome to a very special edition of Central Tonight. Look, in every healthcare system in the world, you've got a limited amount of resource. City Grantham is a, is, a, is a particular example. The NH, NHS Trust, £19 million deficit. There's now suggestions the A&E department might be closed, meaning people have to travel 30 miles from a big place like Grantham to get to accident and emergency. I mean, I don't know enough about the specific situation in Grantham, although I think they're trying to make sure that there is emergency care. Now Midlands Today with Suzanne Verdi and Steve Clamp. Hello, welcome to the programme. Tonight, I'll keep fighting for justice. A mother vows to go to Tony Blair after a drug addict who robbed her and her son walks free. Good evening, welcome to Tuesday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, anger from a mother as a robber walks free from court. <laughs> Every balloon here symbolises the lives of babies lost to miscarriage. I, see it in your eyes. I have to be honest, before it happened to us, I really didn't give miscarriage a second thought. But then it did happen. At times, Claire and I didn't feel like we could carry on trying either. But then we thought we'd give it one more go. And luckily for us, it's paid off. Things are hopefully turning out for the best. I don't believe he's really talking, he's a puppet. Go on, tell me something, Sooty. Oh, yes, yes, she, she is very pretty, but also a bit annoying. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to tell me a bit about the work you do uh, for, for charity, for the Romanian Appeal. Um, and you're very involved with that, aren't you? Yes, I was out actually in August. Let me take a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you how it's done. OK. <clears throat> Oh, oh see, well, that's two, shots, two shots, shots to you, so there we go, not the white, we're good at this. Well, that's nearly it from us, and uh, I'm looking forward to going home and opening my two advent calendars, Lucky both you. chocolate. What about yeah, you? We gave them to our children this morning, <laughs> and Emma, who's three, she got the principal one chocolate a day, she was fine. Ben, who's one, he had one, wanted the rest, mm. kicked up a big fuss. Ben, if you're watching, you have to wait till the morning <laughs> for the next one. Wait till tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>